What's up guys, it's Caleb here at Mad Vapes in Belmont. Gonna do a short little video today. Uh, it's not gonna be terribly long. You know, it's one of those subjects that it's it's just really short and sweet. Um, so yesterday, Emily and I did a Guess That Use video and of course our wonderful uh, fan favorite here, Patricia, requested a video on various ways to vape because she noticed that Emily uses her nose more than I do. You know, I do a lot of direct lung inhale. So we're just gonna go over that today. Uh, the two main types of vaping is direct lung and mouth to lung. Uh, direct lung is gonna be primarily devices like your big mods with the tanks, stuff like that. Um, and that's just literally exactly what it sounds like. It's whenever you vape and take the vapor directly into your lungs. Just like that. And then there's mouth to lung. That's the second most common. Um, and mouth to lung is a lot like you would hit a cigarette. Um, that's the easiest way to explain it, where you pull the vapor into your mouth first and then inhale. So that's, it's literally as simple as it sounds. If you've ever smoked a cigarette before, then, you know, that's probably what you've been doing without even realizing it. And a lot of people, whenever they come in, you know, especially with pod devices now gaining a lot of popularity, pod devices with salt nicks, a lot of people assume that you have to use like a normal vape and you have to do direct lung draw and you don't. Um, I've always, with my salt nick devices, especially with the Infinix, the Novo, uh, even the Mi Pod, whenever I had it, um, I've always done mouth to lung. It's just more comfortable for me. I've, it's more satisfying with that thinner vapor. So that's... It's just as simple as that. It's, when it, it's just like you would hit a cigarette. You're just gonna take the vapor into your mouth and then inhale. Exhaling wise, there's a lot of different, you know, variations. A lot of people breathe out through just their mouth or just their nose. Um, there's also, you know, people that breathe out of the nose and the mouth. And the main thing that that's gonna affect for you is gonna be the taste, um, the strongness of the flavor. Um, you know, a lot of people say that if they exhale through their nose, that they could taste vapor a lot better. They taste like, you know, the individual flavors in a juice. And you'll notice that if you do that with a lot of the more prominent juice blends, like that have various different fruits in it, that um, you're gonna get a different flavor if you exhale through your mouth or through your nose or through both. And that's one reason that a lot of people just change it up a lot. Um, I primarily just exhale through my mouth if it's one of my like more prominent flavors like Fitzelli. Fitzelli is a perfect example because it has that nice sharpness of the uh, the sweet and sour cactus fruit. Whenever I do just a mouth exhale, I don't taste a lot of the sour, but whenever I breathe out through my mouth and my nose, I get a little more of the sour and I still get the fruitiness of the juice too. And that just is, it's kind of like whenever you get a sinus infection. You get a sinus infection, you can't taste a lot of stuff, and that's primarily because of your smell. A lot of people don't realize it, but your smell can affect up to 40% of your taste. So a lot of the times, you know, if you're sick, a lot of people go over to ice flavors, uh, menthols. Um, like we were talking about lava flow ice, Hawaiian pog ice, brain freeze was actually the juice that Emily guessed on the, uh, guessed that juice this week. And... That's kind of what got me into menthol juice. Uh, I g originally smoked menthol cigarettes, and so I kind of avoided menthol juices for a very long time whenever I first started vaping because I just assumed it was going to be just like that type of menthol, and it's not. It's not at all. Um, most menthol juices, they actually use ice, and if you don't know what ice is, it's the coldness of the flavor. Um, you know, it's just going to be that nice cold. It's got a sweetness to it. It's not going to be any kind of like mint flavor and like spearmint wintergreen or anything like that. Even candy cane. It's, it's just, it's really hard to explain until you try it. But if you've never tried any kind of like ice flavor or menthol fruit, like definitely try them. They're some of my absolute favorites. Um, ASAP from Mama San is actually one of my top juices like ever. And, um, you know, Hawaiian Pog Ice, I vaped Hawaiian Pog by itself for a very, very long time. I've probably vaped at least 100 bottles of it, too. And once they came out with Pog Ice, I jumped on that, and it's it's so good, guys. Um, but if you're sick, definitely try out menthol juices. Try to exhale a little bit through your nose, even if you're a little stopped up, because the ice does help alleviate a lot of that pressure, and it lets you taste a lot more than just your, your standard flavors. A lot of people say that, you know, they get sick and they go back to cigarettes while they're sick because they can't taste it try a menthol flavor try something with ice you know pog ice brain freeze berry burst with ice um 
you know, we got the strawberry blizzard, we got the simple e fruit with ice, we got a lot of different options whenever it comes to that. And, you know, you'd be surprised how much you like it. I've got a, quite a few customers that they hate menthol, you know, because they automatically assumed it was menthol like cigarette and it's not. So give it a try if you haven't. Um, Patricia, I hope I answered all your questions. I know you absolutely love Emily's videos. Emily has actually gone to Tennessee for Christmas. So I wanted to knock this out for you and let you know, you know, everything that you want to know about it. Um, so that's pretty much it. And as always, everybody, y'all stay safe. And above all else, y'all have a very Merry Christmas this year.